Um, so yeah, I want to talk about how, um, how to ace the Tableau Qualified Associate exam, uh, which is basically one of two certifications you can get for Tableau Desktop. This is the first slash easier one. So can I start with a show of hands? How many of you do not have this certification? Okay, keep your hands up if you're potentially interested in getting the certification. Fantastic, I have an audience. Okay, so why did I want to do this exam? Um, so I work at Just Eat. Uh, we have about 100 Tableau desktop users, and not one of them um, had taken the exam. So I thought, might as well be the first. If I flunk it, I could tell everyone it's not worth their time. Um, the, other thing I, the other reason why I wanted to take it was because um, I do actually a lot of training with beginners in the business, as well as um, analysts and some of the things like parameters and sets. So I kind of wanted you know, a kind of validation that I knew what I was talking about, and I'm completely self-taught, so I think you know you don't know what you don't know. So it was nice to get kind of a like a structured approach to, to learning Tableau. So just a bit about the exam. Um, it's a two-hour exam. It costs two hundred and fifty dollars to take. Um, you take it on your own machine, but you have to remote into a Windows virtual machine. So I would not recommend it taking on a Mac because I cannot imagine being on a Mac talking to a Windows machine, it would, it would just drive you crazy. Um, there's 36 questions, and they are multiple choice. So if you don't know the answer, you, know, you can always guess. And there's, you know, there's no negative marking as well. Um, it is an online testing environment. So I have heard horror stories where people have gone in, and their connection has been terrible, and they've had to rearrange the exam. I don't think they charge you for that, but something to be aware of, because if it is very laggy, then you, know, you could be disadvantaged. Something I didn't know before taking the exam is you can actually use Google and Tableau Help. So I committed things to memory like parallel aggregation and query fusion, and it was a complete and utter waste of time, which is one of the reasons why I'm doing this talk, so you don't make the same mistake. Um, and you can flag and revisit questions, so you don't need to answer them in the order that they're given to you. So I remember there was a question um, using the Superstore's orders data set, and it was, what proportion of orders in 2017 were subsequently returned? And I was thinking, right, so orders and returns are in, a separate, in separate sheets. I'm going to have to merge them. I have to do a calculated field. I'm going to have to do a filter. I'm 10 minutes in. I haven't warmed up yet. Um, so I skipped that one. And then the next one was, what proportion of orders, um, uh, which product category had the highest percentage of returns? I was like, skip that one too. Um, but yeah, you can always go back to them, which is great. Um, so just in terms of the content, um, it's a mix of factual questions, which are um, things like, I don't know, um, which, kind of, which of these can you only connect to in a live connection? And these are things that you can always just Google. Um, and then there are more practical questions, like the one I was just giving, given to you. So it will require you to maybe do calculated fields, filters, visualization, analytics panes, things like that. Um, the content is in the exam prep guide. Um, if you see on the screen, so the, those are the macro categories that they give you, um, which can kind of give you a flavor of the kind of things you're being tested on. Um, but if you actually go on the website, there is a breakdown of all the different kind of things that you need to learn. So how to succeed, my four major tips. Um, so know the suggested content. The exam prep guide is very, very detailed. It is there for a reason, but focus on the practical skills. Don't do what I do and Google every, you know, everything and try to commit all, you know, all the little kind of niggly things to memory. You don't need it. But the last thing you want to do is working out, should I be using a join or a blend for this calculation? That is going to be um, quite problematic. Um, the second point, take practice exams. So again, in the exam prep guide, there is a practice exam with answers there for you. So that's a really good tool. The other thing I'd recommend is a website called learningtableau.com, which was uh, made by somebody who had um, taken the exam and just wanted to um, produce a learning resource. Um, he has some free questions there. But the other thing that he also has was um, a mock exam, which had 36 questions on. Um, it costs, I think, with the code, learning tableau, it costs $10, so about £7. Um, and I am not affiliated. That is a code that he puts on his website. I just wanted to share it with you. Um, but basically, whatever score you get in that exam, I guarantee you will do better than that in the actual exam. But it's a very good test um, on whether you think you're ready. Um, as I mentioned, leave the hardest questions to last. You know, you need, you know, I get very bad anxiety when I do exams, and I needed a bit of time to go, okay, I can do this, I can do this. So always do the easy ones first. 
Um, and my last tip is to stay organized. So I think I used about five different data sources in the exam. So ha I had a different workbook for each data source um, and you go back to them, you know, so you'll start with one and then another one, you, maybe like question 14, you'll have to go back to the one you used first. Um, and make sure that you don't delete anything, you know, make a new worksheet for every question, label it, because you can always come back to it and check your answers. Now get qualified. <laughs> Thank you so much.